Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about how to create Microsoft Planner tasks from a Microsoft Teams message using Power Automate. Let's go. So if you saw the previous episode where I showed you how to do something similar using Azure DevOps, a lot of this initial content's the same, so I'm going to move through it pretty quickly. You can always refer back to that episode itself. But the goal here really is just to avoid context switching by not having to go into yet another application in order to capture some data. Here we can be in the middle of a Teams message or Teams context, but still be able to capture our planner data just to make sure that nothing slips through the cracks. Before we dive deeper into the content, I wanted to let you know about an emerging community found at serverlessnotes.com. This is a community resource that covers best practices, tips, and latest announcements built on contributions by technology enthusiasts from around the globe. On serverlessnotes.com, you'll find content related to Power Automate, Azure Logic Apps, Azure Service Bus, Azure Functions, and much, much more. Serverlessnotes.com is brought to you by Serverless 360, a portal that is focused on operations and support for Microsoft Azure serverless resources. Now this is a complementary tool to the Azure portal and it helps organizations in supporting Azure serverless applications. You can find out more about Serverless 360 at serverless360.com. Now as a reminder, there are a couple of prerequisites that we need to address. Number one is obviously you need Teams and always recommend it to get the latest version of Teams itself. In addition, you also need the Microsoft Power Automate app or what's listed here as Flow, I guess the label hasn't been updated yet, but you also need to go ahead and install that application as well. Lastly, as another prerequisite, do create your flows in the default environment. Otherwise, they will not be discoverable. All right, well, let's go ahead. Let's see this in action. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna go to Power Automate. I am going to go ahead and use the Teams connector and then use the for a selected message trigger I'm then going to go ahead and author an adaptive card. Now you can go ahead and just change the existing sample that they provide you when you click that button, or you can just go ahead and click on new card. Here it's quite simple. I've got a task title and a task due date. Once I've configured my adaptive card, I'm going to go ahead and use the planner connector and the create a task action itself. I'm then going to use data from my adaptive card, including the custom data that I've been able to capture. I also have access to a lot of other information as well, where if I wanted to link to the original message, I could do that as well. Another thing I do need to capture is the due date, so I can go ahead and capture the due date from the adaptive card itself. That's it, that's, that's as simple as our flow is. We can now go ahead and click on save. So let's head over into Teams and we'll see this run. All right, so now I am in Teams. I am in the context of a team and the general channel where there's a thread going on and I'm being asked to go ahead and send out the monthly status report. So I don't wanna forget this because I know there's a bunch of executives that are gonna be waiting for it. So what I can do is go ahead and click on the ellipsis and then click on create new planner task. And this will go ahead and kick off our adaptive card inside of our flow. So here I'm going to go ahead and say, send out the monthly status report. And then I'll give a due date. I'll then just go ahead and click on submit. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's check out planner to see if our task has arrived. Okay, so I am in planner and sure enough, my task has arrived. Here we are right here. Now, one thing you do want to be aware of is whenever you're dealing with dates, you are dealing with them in UTC time. So you will have to, to plan for an offset where you, when you create the due date, you are creating it in the future that accommodates that offset. So right now this is going to be displayed to me in localized time. Whereas when the task itself was created, it was in UTC time. So that's something just to pay attention to. But otherwise we can see that we now have a monthly status report. We can go ahead and add additional notes if I want. I can go ahead and set the progress and manage it just like any other planner task. All right, so that concludes today's episode, short and sweet, but 
obviously very useful. I think this is something you can use in your everyday lives in order just to be able to transition data from one system to another without having to always log into it and context switch, which I think at the end of the day is the goal here. Become more productive, reduce context switching, reduce just wasting time like navigating to different applications, but still get the result that you're looking for. All right, so I'll catch you next week where I'll have a, another episode on Power Platform Technology. But in the meantime, if you're not following me on Twitter, I would encourage you to do so. You can find me at Weirzy. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. And likes are always appreciated. Thanks and take care. Bye.